If the National Assembly has its way, there would be no electronic transmission of elections in Nigeria ever again. Both chambers of the National Assembly are set to pass a controversial bill that would put a stop to that. The bill seeks to repeal and reenact the 2010 Electoral Act, which has been under consideration for many years. Plus TV Africa's Aneta Felix has details. There's no consensus on the value of the input and amendments that the Senate and House of Representatives have made to sections of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. A member of the Coalition for Electoral Reforms, God bless Otubure, says the move to block the electronic transmission of election results only exposes a plan of the ruling party to rig elections in Nigeria. They're afraid of the people's will. If they're so popular, if they believe that uh, they can go to the polls and talk to the people to vote, uh, they should allow the, the, the results that are gotten from the poll to be transmitted uh, by INEC. <laughs> it's just, they're afraid of losing. That's it. This is a self-serving idea. Responding to that, the Zonal Secretary of APC in the Southwest, Oshinowo Ibrahim, boasts that APC's work speaks for itself. If we conduct elections today, I'm telling you, we are going to win virtually in almost 27 or 28 states of the Federation. He also praises his party for proposing the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, while condemning the PDP for failing to advocate for any electoral amendment while in power. We are proposing one of the best 21st century electoral policies. You can vote electronically. You can vote wherever you are. That is a step in the right direction for our party. PDP for 16 years didn't think towards that. On his part, Edo State leader Anselm Ojezwa says that INEC already transmits results electronically as part of their electoral process and that APC lawmakers have no right to stop the practice. INEC already has a system in which results are transmitted from the polling unit to the headquarters and the headquarters posts these results online and the portal is available to everybody. Just as was done in Edo State, they can't stop it. That one is already established. So the electoral law, to that extent, is inferior to the Constitution. Otobore says it's now up to him and other Nigerians to speak up for the independence of elections. He says they will do this by opposing the new bill and instituting a recall process for all members of the House. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.